Hey everybody, Matthew J here for another video today. Staying comfy today. It's getting a little cold here in Toronto. Snow is starting to drop. So, keeping warm. And today I'm going to be talking about why meditation is the best stress relief you can ever do. So, why it's great, you know, you're obviously watching this maybe because you want to relieve stress, you know. First of all, why do you have stress? Stress is all created in your own mind. Nothing creates stress but yourself. It's only a choice. So whatever you're, whatever it is you think it is, it's not that. It's 100% you. Just like happiness, happiness is a choice. As much as you may not believe it as right now, that is definitely the case. So why meditation is the best stress relief is because when you meditate, you are you're trying to focus on breathing maybe and what you're doing though essentially is you're training yourself to block out your thoughts to start to have a you know a focused thought process and you know you're also trying to release yourself from external things thoughts your body and connect just with your spirit you know you're going outside of your you know the external things in this world the physical things and just connecting to your you know your mind your spirit and so once you start to do this and you start to control your your thoughts as in like thoughts are coming into your head all the time like you know try to stop right now after stop this video or after this video stop it and close your eyes and try to stop your thoughts you know for 10 seconds even very difficult if you haven't been practicing it so thoughts are coming into you your head 24 7 non-stop without your choice and so the whole world is influencing you the whole world is triggering you and your own self is triggering you though 24 7 even when no one's around you're triggering yourself so when you start to practice this then you can start to control your thoughts where you're, you you can stop them and you can keep your your head empty your thoughts you know at bay and once you do that then you start to control your thoughts and then you start to control your emotions and then through this process you are then going to be able to choose what you want to do. You're going to choose to be happy. You're going to choose to be excited and optimistic about things. You're going to choose to live in the moment because like I said, we are all, we're all just like, you know, it's all our own thoughts always. Basically what we're always doing is reviewing past things that we're upset about, regrets, um, things that didn't happen, things we missed out on and or things that we wish we had, places we wish we we got to, you know, you know, where we hope we would be already. All things that are irrelevant in the in the moment, completely irrelevant. And when you're doing this, you're you're building that pattern. Everything's patterns, and you're building that pattern of, you know, thoughts coming into your head nonstop, and you not being controlling it. So it's essential for you to start to do this because if not, it's going to keep on happening and. This is why people, the pattern's so strong, this, this is why people need to watch TV always, listen to music always, need something on at night time to fall asleep. You know what I mean? When, when it's so peaceful and quiet and things are, are like that, they start, people start to freak out. You know what I mean? Because what happens is you'll start to think about the things you need to think about. You know, the true things you need to work out. And most people can't handle this. But you need to work this out because this is what, you know, may be causing health problems for you down the road right now. And it's why you're not advancing in life. It's why you're staying in the same place in life. Because you're just reviewing the same thing over and over again. How could you be advancing and progressing in life if you just are going over the same old information all the time? Playing the same old story to yourself. It's completely pointless completely completely pointless but people think they can't stop it and I, you know it's not that easy and well it just takes a little practice like any it's like riding a bike you ride a bike your first time is going to be tough you know by the hundredth time you'll be doing it so 
when you meditate and start to control yourself, then once you when you do things in the real world, then you're you'll be able to stick to what you want to do. So you want to stay happy, you're gonna stay happy. You have a plan to do something. I'm gonna, you know, go to the store here, and then I'm gonna go to or it's like starting a business. You know, I'm gonna you know go get my business cards, and then I'm gonna apply, uh, go see um, somebody to work with. Whatever the steps are, and I don't have it planned out right now. <laughs> but whatever the steps are, what happens to everyone is you go to step one, and then you start to do step one, and then your thoughts come in like, this doesn't make sense, I'm going to stop. Or, you know what I mean, this, this is too hard, I'm going to stop. Your thoughts and emotions that are keep completely running rampant and erratically jump in into your, into your mind or your body and change your course of action of what you want to do. So this is why people never complete things. This is why people do not have quick success in life because your thoughts and emotions are making the decisions for you. You're not making your decisions. So once you control that, it's like you have, this is what I want to do today or this month, no matter what, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you do it, A to B to C to D. And you make sure things pop don't pop into your head, emotions don't pop into your head, or if they do, you know, you, you have a way of, you know, pushing it away. You understand that, like, you know, you know that doesn't matter. My plan is to do this, and my plan makes sense. I've done my research. You know, my emotions shouldn't be dictating my decisions. So that's why meditation is such a great stress relief, because eventually you can get into, like, you're only thinking about the things you want to think about. You know, you're only having the emotions you want to have. So you can have a lot less thoughts going on, a lot less emotions going on, and you just use them to your benefit when you want to. You know, emotions are great, but use them for the positive, to have passion, enthusiasm, courage. You know, not all these negative emotions, fear, depression, worry. Those do absolutely nothing for you. The only time you need those emotions is when it's like you may possibly like die or something then you need those emotions to protect you. But that will work on its own. That's our, our bodies and mind are, have survival mechanisms built in them. You do not need to worry about that really. Especially if you live in, you know, North America or, you know, everywhere in the world really. You know, we're, we're pretty safe. We put ourselves in safe situations 99% of the time. So meditation will Control those thoughts, control those emotions. That's what we're all doing to ourselves. We're just reviewing all of our negative thoughts all the time. And those are creating negative emotions. And then those are making us act out to do things that are not beneficial for us. So when you practice meditation, you'll control it more. Then you'll control your life more. You'll focus more. You'll stick to your plans, your actual plans you want to. Then all you gotta do is get the g great research, Successful people that you want to, you know, learn from that are doing what you want to do, learn from them, apply it. You're going to apply it consistently, correctly, and that's how you're going to make leaps and bounds. Meditation is the best stress relief. It's amazing. Try it out. If you haven't done it, start to do it. When I started doing it, I couldn't even, like, I would start to put my hands together like, like, I'm, like I'm praying. I don't know why I did that, but I did and I couldn't even hold that for one second because I never, you never put your hands together. Even try that after. Put your hands together like a prayer. You're like moving away right away. That's patterns for you. You know what I mean? When you're don't, not doing things that much, you, it's like difficult to do it. Well, not difficult, but you're just, you know, you'll, you'll reject it. Your body, your mind will reject it. And then with meditation, I can only meditate for five to 10 seconds at first. Then I got up to 15 minutes straight. And now it doesn't matter. Every day as long as I do it and I get a few minutes in, it's great. Like, you know, just make sure you continue to do the pattern. And it'll do wonders for you. Trust me. It's what everybody needs going forward with all this technology, with all the noise. you got a million people trying to market you 24-7. So meditation is so beneficial. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if this helped you at all. My name is Matthew J. 
Please subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you on the next video.